Hi everyone, I'm Louise from No Waste Living and it is day five of Plastic Free July 2021. If you have signed up for our Plastic Free July challenge, you will know that we have been covering food packaging for the first part. So let's have a little recap of what we've learned so far and what we've been through. So we have looked at uh, taking bags to the supermarket, using fruit and veg bags, alternatives to cheese because cheese comes in a lot of plastic packaging and trying to avoid using cling film. So here's a few things to show you. So for a tote bag you could just have a bag this sort of size. Um, you could do larger. We are going to make some more bag for lifestyle ones from our donated material so keep your eyes peeled for that. But there's also normal tote bag size that you can use and you can get quite a lot in, in those. So remember to put that by the front door. It's easy to forget. I mean, you might have bags that you want to use, but remembering them is part of the battle. So put those by the door so you remember them. There is also a smaller type of bag that you can use for fruit and veg. So these are just little drawstring ones and you can put mushrooms, peppers, tomatoes, pears, anything you want in there. They can fit quite a lot of things in there. And if you're buying fresh, you can print out a label and just stick that on the bag. Um, you don't need to use those really thin little bags that come off the reels, they are completely not recyclable. They will be going straight to landfill. So we've also got shrink wrap food. There's an issue in the supermarket. Cucumbers and cabbages mainly, and I know there's hard to find an alternative, but maybe just for July, maybe don't buy them, try and find something else instead. Because that packaging that comes off there, again, it, it, like the thin little bags, they go straight in landfill. The next thing we looked at, so those bags, remember to put those by the door. Because you've got to remember them, otherwise there's no point having them. Um, the next thing we looked at was cheese. Cheese is a bit of an issue because pretty much all cheese comes in plastic. But if you want to cut down on your plastic waste or you want to just plastic free July, try cheese that doesn't come in plastic, we would recommend uh, buying Borsan. It comes in foil, which can be um, rinsed off when you've finished with it and screwed up into a ball to make a ball for your recycling. It comes in a cardboard box, also recyclable. They've got the herby version and the black pepper version. These are really good for um, replacing cream for sauces in dinners. Um, we use it for carbonara sometimes, we use it for a lot of things. It's a really good base for baking and of course it's good on its own with crackers or bread. Um, you can also, if you're going to the supermarket, take your own container. A lot of deli counters now will accept containers like this, as long as they're clean. So you could probably, if you've got a cheese counter, you could probably go along there and ask for them to cut off a little bit of cheese, pop it in your own container. Same with your local deli, maybe. It's tricky, cheese, but there are ways around it. It does take a little bit more effort, but for one month, you know, it's worth giving it a go and seeing if you can maybe find a new favourite cheese that doesn't come in plastic that you can pop in your own container. So that was that day. Um, I wonder how you all got on with that one. <laughs> tricky. Um, the next one was cling film. Cling film is another household staple. A lot of people use it, it's very convenient, it's easy to use, it's affordable. So we would recommend just trying um, wax wraps, which come in all sorts of sizes. I've got some here that my niece Molly bought me, and as you can see they come in different sizes. So we're going to give these a go, and we'll be using these for things like sandwiches, um, leftovers in the fridge, covering up a bowl or plate. You don't want to use them for things that are... Like, well, especially not meat, no meat, don't use them for meat. You can't wash them with hot water because of the wax. But you don't want them to use for things that are too messy because they can be hard to clean. So dry things like sandwiches, bread, um, things like maybe an onion. Once this is cut in half, you might want to store it. Instead of wrapping it in cling film, you can wrap it in one of your wax wraps. And that will be per perfectly safe in there and it won't stink your fridge out. I mean, that is pretty much what we've covered so far. There are many things that you can use instead of bags, plastic, packaging. You could even um, 
wrap things in a napkin. This is one of my grand's old napkins. We use these quite a lot. You know, just take them with you to the deli, wrap the thing in it, bring it home. If you're coming straight home, it's not going anywhere. You can just bring it home and unpack it. Um, yeah. So don't give up. Five days in. I'm sure you're all doing great. It's been brilliant getting emails and messages from you guys and um, seeing people post things online. So keep that up. The hashtag is no waste living. So NWL plus dip free July. And you can also mention us at no waste living. And just keep going. Uh, it'll be good to hear your stories and posts. Keep those emails coming in. We will answer any questions from any future videos. Thank you very much.